Hello guys, welcome to the vlog, the Cota de Giba PFL semi-final in Paris. Before the video starts, I would just like to make an apology. That editor Paul has asked me to film all the videos I do on a sideways camera angle. This video right now that I'm doing before I fly home is the only video I filmed sideways. So, good luck. No man saying on YouTube now. Hey Brad. Just oh, say hello to Paul. Paul! Yeah. Is he short? Hi guys, I'm Barry Heath, professional boxing coach here at UFC legend Brad Pickett. Obviously Brad was one of the best strikers in UFC history. We're gonna go through how he's got all the success in the UFC. What's it like being in there? Better feel better because I can move. <laughs> Get too much to take with them towels. <laughs> 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 Have to wait for it to set. <laughs> <laughs> 124.7 Dakota smashed the weigh-ins nice and easy napped refueled all ready to go we're gonna head down to the ceremonial weigh-ins in a bit got to do some training Brad Pickett Ashley Grimshaw Veronica Hardy Alex Lahore so that was really good got some good rounds in there keep ticking over while we're away but yeah it's looking good tomorrow's fight day I'll keep getting some more posts as we go about Dakota as the hype train and I understand that I see that she is very good but yeah so am I last time out we saw the grappling skills as well will we see more of that tomorrow night that's where she wants to go I'll take it to the floor I mean I can fight anywhere so I'm happy to do whatever so there's not really much people can offer me now these days you know she didn't sound too convinced herself did she <laughs> Three. Knock down. Wait a minute. Scope striking. Now we all get there. Beautiful. 
Little snacks ready. Big brother Cody, how are you feeling about later? No, I'm confident, um, had a good camp, had a good little shake out this morning as well, good workout to get the you know, blood flowing, a little bit of movement, still shoot, super sharp, rehydrated, ready to go. Yeah, looking forward to it. What's your prediction? Um, I'm saying, I'm going to say probably first round, first round, yeah, I reckon so. Warm up for a couple of minutes and then towards the end of the first, let go with some hands and catch with them, yeah. There you go, big brother's prediction. <laughs> so Lisa, how are you feeling about tonight's big fight? Um, not nervous yet, I'm looking forward to it. To be honest. I think um, I'm quietly very confident that she's going to do what she usually does. So, so prediction? Um, I'm, I'm definitely thinking a knockout. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to be one. I'm not, I'm not going to be one of those people that's. Um, Sits on the fence and says, uh, you know, see what happens. I think the coast is strong and powerful, and I don't think many girls would last three rounds with us, to be honest. There you go, prediction for tonight. Morning shake out done, breakfast eaten, Already. Morning, morning session done. Just grabbing a few snacks from the shop, and or... the phone charger because <laughs> someone's robbed me phone charger from the room. Cleaner. Cleaner. <laughs> Definitely the cleaner. Now we're going to get finessed in the shop because it's expensive. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, how are you? So, her 
drive back hotel bit of reflection on tonight a good win semi-final against a tough opponent who would come with a good plan it was good to get out the first round and also make the adjustments in, in the fight to, to do what was needed to get the finish in the third it showed good ability to listen good composure just obviously on a, a different level as well uh, PFL was amazing the atmosphere in Paris was really something different it was special it was good still getting used to this YouTube stuff but everything else all positive another one in the bag big final Dublin next right guys I have some big news I have signed a multi-fight contract with Europe's biggest MMA promotion, Octagon MMA. Not only that, I will be headlining the Manchester card November the 4th in the AO Arena. And I will be taking on UFC veteran Elias Garcia. And we will be fighting for Octagon's World Flyweight Championship. This is a massive fight, something I've worked hard towards something I've wanted my whole career. I cannot wait for it. We're gonna bring everything we got. We're gonna raise the roof. Make sure you get in touch with me for tickets. Let's go. Big brother Cody, how are you feeling about tonight? Confident, um, we had a good little workout this morning. Had a good camp, obviously. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what, oh, wait, go again, go again. <laughs> go again, yeah, you want to go? 